Meanwhile, GOP candidates are still trying to pull in voters in Iowa before the caucus next Monday, as frontrunner former President Donald Trump is expected to appear in a federal court in Washington. A three-judge panel is set to consider whether Trump is immune from federal criminal prosecution related to charges that he attempted to overturn the 2020 election. NBC's Bree Jackson has the details. Former President Trump returning to Washington, D.C. today, where his legal team is arguing that Mr. Trump is immune from prosecution for his role leading up to the January 6th attack. He made that same argument about immunity from civil lawsuits, and the D.C. Circuit told him that he was wrong. This will be the former president's first trip to the nation's capital this presidential election year. It comes less than a week before voters have their say in the first in the nation primary. Hello, Iowa. You're going to win this election for us so big. Happy New Year. President Biden blasting his political foe. He's a loser. While condemning false claims about election fraud in 2020. That's why time and again they lost in every court of law. That challenge results 60 losses in courts of America. There's one thing they don't have. They don't have respect for the 81 million people who voted the other way. Voted for my candidacy. And voted to end the presidency. Hi, Betty. My name is Deborah. I'm with the Trump campaign here in Iowa. Despite his legal troubles, supporters in Iowa stand firmly behind the Republican frontrunner. We want to do anything we do, can do to see him get back in office where he should be right now. Trump making his case in the courtroom and on the campaign trail this week. Former President Trump is scheduled to participate in a town hall in Iowa Wednesday. On Thursday, there's a court hearing for his New York case, and all of this is ahead of the crucial Iowa caucus next week. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.